So obviously not the result you guys are looking for in your regular season finale. Um, what what happened in your eyes that led to the to the scoreline? I mean, first half, you know, I thought we were the better team. The first 25 minutes, you know, we hit the post. We were creating great opportunities inside the box, so we just couldn't couldn't finish. And you know, looking back at, I think it, since, I think it all started ever since you know we went down to Minnesota. We just couldn't find the back of the net. And ever since Minnesota, we hit Kansas City, then Real Monarchs, and we like. We barely got, I think in the past two games, we only got one goal. And I mean, it got us to three points, but I mean, I thought today we were very unlucky. And then obviously, you know, the red card kind of, I think it brought everyone down and we made a mistake and then we got punished for it. Yeah, and obviously red card changes, or red cards change games. When Randy got his second yellow sending him off, how hard is it for the team to sort of adjust on the fly to playing down a man? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think when you get a red card, I think you kind of sometimes have you know, the, the odds up because, you know, the other team's just going to be vulnerable and go, you know, try to attack. And then, we, you know, we're, we're, I think we're a really good team in transition, but we couldn't, we couldn't quite, you know, get that transition to attack today. And obviously, again, you know, we made a, a mistake in the back and it cost us. And you mentioned to sort of uh, goals which you've scored plenty of this season have sort of dried up in the last couple of games. Do you have any idea of the, the, the reason for that and how you can fix that heading into the playoffs? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, each player, you know, we're held to our own standard and, you know, it's all about execution and, you know, including myself, you know, the past couple of games I've played in, I just wasn't to that high standard that I usually, you know, hold myself to. And, you know, obviously it sucks because we couldn't get the result today, but, you know, we, we're in the playoffs and we got to keep looking forward. And looking forward to the playoffs, it looks like you guys are either going to play Houston or North Texas. Um, sort of how do you rebound after a disappointing result like that and, and know that you have a game to play at home in a week? Yeah, I mean, you know, whether we're at home or we're away, you know, so it's the playoffs. It's our first time making it to the playoffs. So, you know, we just got to get a head straight, you know, go back into training, work on what we need to work on and remain positive and go into the next playoff match, trying to get the win. And for this being the first home playoff game in S2 Defiance history as well as you guys haven't made the playoffs in a really long time. Is there any sort of intimidation or, or excitement for you guys about, about finally making it to this position after so many years? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's excitement, but, you know, we can't get too, um, too confident because obviously as of today, you know, we could tell by the performance today, I thought we were too excited. You know, obviously we're happy to play at home, to get to play in front of our home crowd, but, you know, I think we, we overstepped Portland Timbers. Obviously, they're a really good team. It don't matter what uh, position they're in in the table. You know, they showed it today that it don't matter if we're the first place team, second place team, they could punish us and that happened today. But going into the playoffs for a home match, I mean, you know, we just got to put this behind us and look for the next one.